Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Tripolar, T-R-I-P-O-L-A-R, and welcome back to a brand new episode here today. We are doing something a little different today. I hope you guys do enjoy it. It's going to be the first video of this kind. If you guys do enjoy it, I will do more videos like this. But recently, I put a poll up on Twitter asking what kind of videos you guys want to see where it's actually interaction between me and you. I've been doing a lot of live streams lately. If you aren't, you know, watching them or you're not, you know, on the right time, uh, they are still in my things. So check them out. Uh, if you are watching them, I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, it seems like people actually are enjoying them a lot. But I wanted to start to do sort of a, a new video type of thing where basically I tell some of my life stories. I mean, that's what you guys voted for on Twitter. I had all different things, different, you know, things that you guys wanted me to react to. And this was the biggest one that you guys wanted to see. So I'm going to do that for you here today. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get right into this. Uh, this this life story that I'm about to tell you guys but before we get into that guys if you could make sure to drop a like down below it'll be much much appreciated um, you know drop a like if you enjoy it if you want more make sure to hit that like button if you need the channel make sure to subscribe and comment you know what you guys think of these life stories but without further ado enough of delaying let's get right into it so if you can't tell from the title this is gonna be the story about how I got fired from my job that I literally started like three weeks ago and I mean uh, I mean uh, let's let, I mean let's get into the story so about three weeks ago you know my parents are really bugging me you know get a job get a job I understand you know I'm, I'm 17 years old I need a real job um, you know YouTube is kind of like a job but you know what it's what it's whatever I need a real job social interaction I got it. Now I'm a little bit of a procrastinator, so it took me a really long time to actually find a job. Um, you know, I would like go apply somewhere, but then like, uh, I mean, I would kind of like not really apply there, like, or t just different things like that. Anyway, so I finally had a place call me back after looking and looking, looking and looking. I had a place call me back, and it was a toy store, uh, which I used to go to as a kid, ironically enough. Uh, but they they called me and they said they wanted me to come for an interview. So then I was like, sweet, you know, I finally got an interview. I could go in, you know, you know, you know, put on my little show and hopefully land this job to, you know, my parents, you know, I'll make them happy, everything like that. And, you know, it'll be fine. I mean, it'll, it'll be, it'll be great. I'll have a job, you know, I'll, I'll still be able to YouTube. It's a part-time job. Uh, I'll have a little extra cash on the side. It's going to be awesome, you know? So I'm all pumped up, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting real hyped, feeling like, you know, Muhammad Ali, you know, mm, 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 right? And I go in to my first interview, right? And I I sit down there's two ladies there right I'm sitting down and they bring out the like this like really kitty small chair and we sit in the corner of the store really weird I mean I don't know why they did that but you know here I am sitting in my corner of the you know store I'm getting I'm getting ready I'm getting ready let's go um, and the one lady who I met for the first time for the sake of the video let's call her I'm gonna call her Ariel all right I'm gonna call her Ariel this is Ariel right She's the one lady, all right? We won't worry about the other lady. I didn't really see much of her, but this is the one lady. Ariel's gonna come into the story right later, so remember that name. So me, Ariel, and this other lady are having a conversation. It's going real well. They're asking me all these questions. You know, what are you doing in school? Uh, I'm answering and all this stuff. It's going great. You know, I feel like the interview is doing really good. They seem impressed. I'm having a good time. It's all good. So the first interview ends, right? And they're like, you know, we're gonna call you back up if we want you to come for another interview. So I'm like, all right, cool, I'll wait. You know, I'm perfectly fine with waiting. I am, I'm not in a rush, you know. I got to tell my parents I went to an interview. So, I mean, I'm all good, but, uh, so they, they told me, you know, we'll call you, you know, keep your phone, whatever, and we'll see. So about a week later, I get a call back from these people and they asked me if I could come in for a second interview. So now I'm like, you know, you know, I'm all ready for the second interview. Like I'm pumped. I'm pumped for the second interview. Like I'm like, whew, whew, I'm like round two, you know, round two. <laughs> but I go in right this time it's with a man. So I'm like, okay, this is a little weird. You know, I've never really seen this guy here before. Apparently uh, him and his wife own the store. It's cool. It's cool. He takes me behind the store where they put the garbage, as I would learn later, they put the garbage and they get their shipments. And we're sitting like, it was like the most unprofessional, I mean, we were sitting in the back of the store in like a sandy dirt parking lot. I mean, do what you want, do what you want. It's your business, it's, right. it's, it's your business, it's not mine. Anyway, so I'm sitting there talking to this guy. For the sake of this video, let's call him Prince Eric, okay? We have Prince Eric, 
he was a real nice guy. He's talking to me about, it wasn't just business either. He was talking to me about college, all these different things. I guess that he wanted to know. I don't, I mean, I don't know why he was asking me about that, but he was asking me about all these different things. You know, he, he seemed like a chill guy. So the interview ends, right? And he says, okay. I'm like, you know, I thought I got the job. Like he's talking like, oh, you know, you're gonna be doing this. You're gonna be doing that. I'm like, sweet. You know, I got this job in the back. Like, just tell me when to start, Mr. Uh, Prince Eric. And he goes, um, yeah, so we'll call you back uh, if we're interested for a third interview. Now, I'm thinking a third, you know, you know, I've been to two already. You're making me wait a long time there, Mr. Two. Another interview. Okay, okay, okay. I'll play your little game, Prince Eric. I'll play your little game, you know. I'll be your Sebastian, and I'll play your little game, all right? All right, I'll play it, all right? So I kid you not, I wait another two weeks, two weeks to hear from these people. At this point, I'm like, yo, meh. Maybe I didn't get the job, all right? Maybe Prince Eric didn't like me enough and I didn't get the job, all right? I'm like, you know what? Admit defeat, all right? Thank you, thank you. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll move on, I'll move on. When all of a sudden, boom, I get a call from Ariel. I told you she'd come back. She's going to come back again. I get a call from Ariel and she, Ariel's like, we want you to come back for a third interview. I'm like, a third interview? You can't just tell me I got the job, please. And they're like, no, third interview. And I was like, you know what? It's a third interview. If I don't get the job, I'm gonna go super saiyan on all of y'all, but I'll do the third interview, okay? I'll do the third interview. So I show up for this third interview, right? And I get there, and now I'm, I'm interviewing with the big kahuna, right? My grandpa always says this. Whenever something was a big deal, he would say it's the big kahuna. I'm dealing with the big kahuna, the head poncho, the leader of this entire organization. No, not the entire organization. The, the store I was working for. Um, I was meeting with her. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you just met the antagonist of this story, the evil villain. And for this episode, we're going to call her the Sea Witch Ursula. All right, we're going to call her Ursula. So I get into the interview with Ursula, right? And she seems cool enough. You know, she's asking me all these questions. Same thing I've heard. Now, let me get this point straight. Over the three interviews, the questions were pretty much the same. But the one question they always asked, what days can you not work? Now, I knew. I knew what days I could. I mean, I knew. I knew. I had the dates ready. You know, my mom sent me the information. I had it written down, folks. All right, I had it written down. I said I will not be here from the third. Oh, no, hold up, hold up. The 16th to the 24th. Oh, no, the 13th to the 24th, something like that, of uh, July, because I'm going on my mission trip. All right, well, that's already passed, folks. It's already passed. And the other date, I will not be here from the 13th to the 20th. Remember the 13th to the 20th of August. I'm going to Disney. All right. I'm going to Disney World. I'm going to visit college. I will be on a family vacation and I will not be here, folks. Okay. Okay. Just everyone got that? You, I mean, you read it down three times. All right. You just, just make sure. Okay. Everyone's got it. All right. Thank you. So I'm working the day before, right? The day, the day before, the day before. All right. You know, day before I, I leave for vacation, I'm hyped. I'm with my girl. Um, we're going to call her, she, I mean, this girl's amazing. She's a really good friend of mine. We're going to call her Alice. All right, I know I'm going off the whole Little Mermaid theme, but I'm doing this because she likes Alice. So I'm going to do Alice, okay? Alice from, you know, Nev uh, Wonderland. Al I almost said Neverland. Alice from Wonderland, right? Really good girl, really fun to work with, everything like that. She's my girl. She, you know, we're, we're chilling, we're having a good time, right? I don't even bother to look at the schedule. I already know I'm not working next week. It's my vacation. I'm in the zone. I'm going to take a flight to Orlando, baby, and we're going to have a great time. Not even worried about it. You know, I told him like 87 times. I told Ariel, my manager, about 87 times that I wasn't going to be here, okay? 87. Literally 87 times. She knew it, written down, uh, a period at the end of the sentence. No, she knew. She knew. She knew, folks. That's all I'm going to say. I am walking in to Hollywood Studios, folks. If you ever been to Walt Disney World, Hollywood Studios is legit, right? I'm walking in. I'm all hyped. I'm ready to go. You know, I'm enjoying my vacation. Me and my family have an awesome time. I get a text message. A text message from Alice. Oh, I have a text message from Alice. Oh, oh. 
It's a little weird, but okay. I mean, I'll read it. It says, you were supposed to work today. I'm supposed to work today. After how many times did I say on my schedule that I was not going to work? You knew. You knew. Anyway, she says, you know what, Jack? No big deal. Call up Ursula. You know, she, you know, you're new. She'll understand. You know, whatever. It's a miscommunication. Okay. So I'm like, I'm super nervous. I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta call up this place. Like, whatever. I call up Ursula. Right. So I'm on my phone. Um, I'm on my phone, and I'm about to call up Ursula. Oh, hey, Mickey. Hey. Oh, Pluto. Goofy. What's up, guy? She picks up the phone, and guys, she was in full Ursula Sea Witch mode that day. Full Ursula Sea Witch mode. She was not happy with your boy. All right, she was not happy with me. She says, you abandoned your job today. No lie, no, literally that's what she said. She said, uh, 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 we're going back and forth. I'm explaining the situation. Yo, it was on my schedule. She's like, oh yeah, I have your application right here. It's right on it. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, it is on it. What you can do better? Come on, come on, fight me. Come on, fight me. It's right there. She goes, you still should have told me again. For the 88th time? You needed one more time? I'm like, you know, it's going to blow. I'm thinking in my head, this is going to blow over. This is not going to, I mean, this is not going to be anything big, folks. This is going to be like, you know, slap on the wrist, get back to it. All of a sudden, I hear her say, well, you abandoned your job, so congratulations. You don't have one anymore. What? Did she just... Did she just fire me? For your own mistake, you just fired me. On my vacation, in my zone, I'm all Mickey Mouse and ready to go, and you'll fire me in Hollywood Studios. You have some nerve, don't you, Ursula? Guys, literally, I got fired in Disney over one stupid thing after two weeks. Two weeks. My dad was furious, too. Oh, my mom and dad were furious. Furious. I can't even explain to you how mad they were. My dad was all King, he was all King Triton. I will save you. Well, you know, like with, with a Triton and everything, he was ready to go at Ursula. You know, and I had to be, I had to back them all up. Oh, hey, hey everyone, come down. It's time. You know, there's a time and place for everything. But that is the time that I got fired. You know, fantastic story, 10 out of 10. Thank you so much. And there's one thing I need to say to Ursula. I will find you. And I will get my revenge. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you thought it, at all it was entertaining, make sure to slap that like button. If you want more, go to the comment section below. Let me know. Share the love. Everything like that. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys so much for the support lately. It means so, so much. If you like the style of video, guys, please let me know and I will do more of it. If you guys sort of like this whole storytelling type of scenario, it, I mean... It would be really fun to do. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And we will see you next time. Peace out, tryhards.